Hey there YouTube, MS Firefighter 662 here bringing you a DIY snorkel kit for your k &M Commander. On the driver's side we have CVT intake, CVT exhaust, and on the passenger side we have the engine intake side. Mostly it all consists of uh, PVC or ABS couplers, all two inch, except for one spot had to go down to an inch and a half, and then some of this two inch flexible hard suction hose that uh, I picked up for about a dollar, about two dollars a foot at our local uh, hardware store type place is called Rule King. So we all know, if you're a commander owner, you know what's going on with this. How it works, you have your air box here, the tube comes down and it normally would have connected right in here and gone behind the glove box. I disconnected that, put a two inch rubber cap on it, a couple 90 degree elbows to send it down the tunnel by the engine on the driver's side. And that's where it connects into the flexible hose you saw on the back. It runs all the way through. Makes a bunch of joints back here and comes up and out here. So I put these uh, two inch rubber couplings. These are the fern coat type that you guys are using to replace uh, duct work for your CVT and things that came from originally from BRP. They're just crap and dry rotting. So I can take this whole thing off very easily, take this co console cover off for maintenance, whatever I need to do. And then uh, the engine one runs off to the, the, the passenger side. And the uh, CVT intake runs off to the uh, driver's side. So nice little rubber couplings there. And then you guys can see a glimpse, glimpse of the CVT exhaust that runs directly behind the seat. Okay, so here's an overview of the panel, the center console, the driver's side panel. The top piece is the engine air intake. It's about a 42 inch piece of pipe from the 90 degree elbow underneath the center console all the way up to the coupling up front and a 19 and a half piece of pipe for the CVT intake. As you can see, it's a test piece. You can heat it up with a heat gun. It takes a little time and you can compress it. So it still has roughly the same volume, it's just a different shape. And I had to do that right in here, and I tried to do a bit right in here just to give the cover some more clearance. So we've got a 90 degree 2x2 two two, uh, type Fernco thing to a 90 degree street, to the 2x2, two two, to another 2x2, two two, and that touches to the uh, PVC that goes all the way up and out. And pretty much the same for the exhaust. There's a 2x2, two two, just some two and a half, or two inch 90s that are wrapped with the aluminum t insulation type tape for the heat for the exhaust that runs. You guys can see that right there. Your commander owners know it. How close it is to that exhaust or the uh, CVT exhaust. And it goes up and out. The only bad thing I had to do here was uh, break it down or reduce it down to a two or an inch and a half for just a little bit before it goes back into a two inch to match the rest of the system on up. And uh, from all the tests I can tell, it still has plenty of airflow. I'm not too concerned about restriction for belt flow air. It's not a high volume system. It's enough to circulate and keep it cool. Um, one thing I did run into is a problem. Right here where the gear shifter bracket uh, attaches, I had to cut off a piece of it. Just the bottom half of the bracket it doesn't affect any part of where it mounts there and uh, put a little piece of rubber underneath it. If you haven't seen it already, check out my video for the DIY floor mats and bed liner. It's the same material that I used there. Um, one other problem I ran into, some of this extra here, even I wanted to maintain the foam on this uh, console cover here. So what I did was I got rid of the rubber grommet, uh, the O-ring type thing here, our, push, uh, our dart rivets go to, and put these uh, nuts on there and the bit of picture at the end exactly what they are. So I have bolts that secure it to one, two, three, four of those, and that'll suck this panel in real tight. I don't have to worry about those darts coming loose. Uh, they just don't have a whole lot of grip and traction on those rubber grommets. It's designed for something that fits snugly. Well, this is stretched, stretched a little bit, so that's why we put those on there. So all this is just normal PVC or ABC, ABS uh, couplers and uh, pipe. I took and sanded, sprayed uh, with uh, spray-on bed liner just to give it a a texture and a color that semi matches uh, the roll system of the commander. It's all zip tied on pretty securely. It's enough to rock the whole buggy on both sides. And then it's all secured to this panel that you just separate the wheel well from the cab. So it's got zip ties in in multiple spots here and on both sides, and they both run up parallel. And I put these little angles on here, just or twisted the couplers where it tilts in, give it a little better look and hopefully get it some cleaner air where it's not uh, so much in line with what the wheels are going to kick up, if anything. Um, the CBT intake originally had uh, you know, pre-filter or only filter up here in the front, that kind of drier 
lint filter material. I love to put something on the back of this thing to help pre-filter the air before it goes into CVT. If you guys have some ideas on that, I'd love to hear them in the comment section down below. Please share those. That's the DIY snorkel system for the Commander. I have about uh, three or four weekends worth of work in it, just you know, an hour here and there, and probably about $200 worth of material um, total time into it. So if you liked the video, please take the time to log on to YouTube, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you're not a subscriber. We always appreciate your viewership. As always, thank you for watching.